Shalom to everyone who is listening and watching me right about now. I'm here to present to you another powerful word for you. Brothers and sisters, this is specifically a word to encourage you with. Brothers and sisters, I know you have received a lot of promises. Some of you have received things that God is about to do this in your life. But when you look at your life, it has taken long. Some of you, it seems like it takes forever. But I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. There is a reason as to why there is a storm in your life. There is a reason as to why there is fire in your life. That fire is not to oppress you. That fire is not to destroy you. That fire is to burn that which had clung onto you, that which was monitoring you. There are things that are monitoring you, that have been moving with you for a long time, that God wants to destroy. There are sometimes when going through the storm is necessary for you. So before you start complaining, before you start uh, saying that God has left you, God has abandoned you, understand the nature of the storm. Understand why the storm is there. You see, uh, in the scripture, the apostles were put in prison. Some of the apostles were put in prison. The Bible says Paul and Silas were put in prison. Of course, it is the enemy that put them in prison. But there was a reason as to why they went to prison. You see, the enemies meant evil for you, but God means it good. Look at Joseph. He was put in the pit, but there was a reason. His destiny was Egypt. Oh, yes. You see, Paul and Silas were put in prison, but there were some people they were supposed to preach the word of God to. The Bible says at midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying, were singing hymns to God, the prisoners were listening to their hymns. The Bible says, but and suddenly the uh, foundations of the prison were shaken. There was an earthquake that they, their chains were loosed. And the keeper of the prison, seeing this, he wanted to kill himself. But uh, Paul and Silas told him that they are, they are inside the prison. And the prison, keeper of the prison said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? To cut the long story short, the keeper of the prison was saved. Him and his household received Jesus as Lord and Savior. So some of you, God is taking you through that wildness, through that uh, problem. It may be the enemy is doing, but God protects you through the wilderness, through the uh, dry places, through the narcissists to save someone. At that workplace that you are in, maybe someone is going to be saved. Maybe when the enemies afflict you, there's someone who will see your goodness. There's someone who will see the God in you and will accept Jesus as Lord and savior so before you complain there is a reason as to why you are going through that way sometimes god is preventing you from enemies god will take you through a long journey it may seem like though it is long just to protect you from enemies just to save your life you may want shortcuts you may want to receive that healing rapidly you may want to receive that breakthrough at a a fast rate and yet god is trying to uh prevent you from people who want to kill you yes let me read to you a scripture that is from the book of exodus chapter 13 verse 17 exodus chapter 13 verse 17 let us see what the scripture has to say the Bible says it clear, when Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through Philistine territory. Even though that was the shortest route to the promised land, God said, if the people are faced with a battle, 
they may change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus, the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. The Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle because what was ahead of them was something also dangerous. Even though they had left a dangerous territory, even though God had caused a breakthrough for them, what was ahead of them was dangerous. Some of you, God has given you a breakthrough and some of you, God is about to give you a breakthrough. But don't lower down your guard. No, don't lower down your guard. Just because God has given you a miracle, your breakthrough, doesn't mean you should relax. No, keep on praying as you used to pray. You see, the enemy is always waiting for an opportune time. New levels, they are new devils. Some of you may not know this. Every new level, there is a new devil. So it is important to be alert, to watch at all times. Watch and pray. The Bible says when Pharaoh finally let the people go, the Pharaoh in your life will finally let go of you. That oppressor will finally oppress you no more. That narcissist will finally leave you alone in peace. The Bible says when Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road. That runs through Philistine territory. God had a reason not to lead them to the main road. Some of you, God is not leading you to the main road. You think, you, you think it's a shortcut. Yes, it is a shortcut, but there are dangerous things about shortcuts. The Bible says, even though that was the shortest road, it would have taken them days to reach Israel. It would have taken them days to reach the promised land. But God led them to the wrong, to, to, to the route that it takes long. The Bible says, if the people are faced with battle, because God said, if the people are faced with battle, they may change their minds and return to Egypt. That is why God led them through the route that was, uh, that took a lot of years. because. If they are taken the shortest road, when the people face battle, they would change their minds. Some of you, God has a reason as to why you are going through that problem. God has a reason as to why there is a, uh, a storm in your life. It is for your good. It is to help you. It is to bring you up. It is to prepare. Some of you may, you may not be prepared for battle. You may think you are ready for war, spiritual warfare, and yet you are not ready. Some of you could be actually Young Christians, you are still new in the things of God. You are still learning how to pray. You are still in learning. You see, the Bible says that he teaches your arms, your hands to war. He teaches your hands. So some of you, God is taking you through a training process. And he does not want you to encounter those enemies at this time. Because you are not ready. I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Remember that every single day I release these amazing words. Until next time. Shalom.